Hey everybody, my name is Adam Beck. I'm Executive Director of the Smart Cities Council uh, for Australia and New Zealand. Uh, I'm also the administrator of our initiative called the Centre for Data Leadership. Thanks for joining us on this quick video briefing session. This is relating to the development of a digital twin strategy for Australia and New Zealand. Uh, the purpose of this, uh, the purpose of this brief is to give you an understanding of the history of Digital Twin and what the Smart Cities Council has been doing uh, and of course what our plans are and how we're approaching the development of this region-wide Digital Twin strategy. Um, I'd like to start by sharing my screen uh, and taking you through uh, a little bit of that uh, a little bit of that now. Um, what, um, what I'd like to do is uh, is firstly start with the context for Digital Twin and the Smart Cities Council. We view it uh, through a data lens uh, and therefore the work sits within our Centre for Data Leadership, which is our initiative that is focused wholly around advancing the idea of data leadership. And as part of that, uh, a commitment to activating data and we view Digital Twin uh, just like we do other significant tools such as civic data trusts and data exchanges. We view the Digital Twin as tools and platforms and means by which we can activate data, value data, uh, and of course, make sure that the, the, the benefits and value are, are distributed equally uh, among the community. Just very quickly, uh, our history with Digital Twin at the Smart Cities Council goes back some way. Uh, our focus and interest on building a sustainable uh, built environment within Australia and New Zealand, which is digitally enabled, uh, and data driven uh, is certainly one that of course has led us to this intersection uh, with Digital Twin. Uh, we released our first sort of paper that started to point towards the idea of Digital Twin advancement uh, in the region uh, around about February 2018 and as you can see on the screen here uh, a whole range of events, milestones and also launches have happened uh, pretty much over the last two years. It's been very active uh, we had the opportunity to participate in the New Zealand National Digital Twin Symposium last year uh, in Wellington, where I participated. That became the inspiration for sort of somewhat replicating that over here in Australia. So in November 2019, the Smart Cities Council hosted the National Digital Twin Symposium uh, in Sydney. Uh, we saw uh, a significant uh, document released late last year, no, uh, December 2019, in the Digital Twin Principles um, that Anslick released. Uh, and then as 2020 uh, evolved, uh, the Digital Twin Task Force at the Smart Cities Council was set up. Um, we launched uh, mid this year, or April this year, the Digital Twin Hub for Australia and New Zealand. And of course, we released our guidance note, Digital Twin Guidance Note. Um, which starts to really sort of identify and articulate some key definitional aspects of digital twin, such as the minimum functionality that we believe a digital twin needs to have, along with the minimum data sets as well. There's a few other points there uh, over the, the, the past uh, few months where we've announced certain things. Um, for example, digital twin week uh, that is happening from the 19th to the 23rd uh, of October, just next month, uh, we will be hosting. Uh, we conducted a digital twin standards discovery session with government and industry in July. Uh, and of course, that's led us up to where we are at the moment uh, in terms of um, reaching out uh, and seeking um, collaboration and engagement with other stakeholders to help uh, co-create a digital twin strategy for the region, both Australia and New Zealand. Um, the Smart Cities Council, as I mentioned, has a digital twin task force. It is made up of supply side organizations you see on the screen here, uh, some of the region's digital twin leaders on the supply side, they're part of our task force, but we knew that wasn't enough and we need to make sure that we bring in all levels of government, uh, academia and other NGOs. And part of this briefing session uh, is to really uh, try and see if we can um, uh, recruit additional supporters and stakeholders that can come with us on that journey, particularly from government uh, and also academia. The task force uh, that we set up in January has been advancing four major projects. We have working groups with, 
which are advancing each of these four key projects. The idea of a digital twin roadmap, which has subsequently become the strategy. Uh, you'll also see there the green color coded uh, work items such as uh, digital twin standards uh, and also drivers for digital twin, the business case, the why, so to speak. And also the fourth one there, which is digital twin week. Um, so the standards work, uh, the work on um, the, the business case and, and the drivers for digital twin, uh, also the digital twin roadmap have now been rolled up into this one uh, sort of core project of the digital twin strategy. As I mentioned, we launched our digital twin hub uh, in April. This will be the primary forum by which we'll communicate the progress of the digital twin strategy and also use this as a forum for inviting feedback, comment and identification of core issues. The digital twin guidance note, which took us about a year to write, that was launched also in April, that provides some foundational content that we're gonna be bringing over into the strategy. Uh, for example, some issues and uh, recommendations and ideas that we identified uh, around policy, governance, standards, uh, education and training and, and research and development. The strategy will further flesh those items out that we originally identified in the guidance note. Recently, in terms of uh, the, the government's response to the COVID-19 health pandemic uh, has led us to some more targeted advocacy uh, at the Smart Cities Council. This is a document called The Next Spend. Within this document, we provide six recommendations to all levels of government in Australia and New Zealand uh, on how we can help facilitate and accelerate a digitally enabled and data-driven uh, economic recovery and in that document we refer to activating our existing digital twins as much as possible as a way to stimulate economic opportunity. Digital Twin Week, as I mentioned, 19th to the 23rd of October. Uh, this will be a week-long celebration, networking, knowledge exchange and sharing around all things digital twins across Australia and New Zealand. We will also be using Digital Twin Week as a bit of a milestone and pause point to reflect, review and of course invite comment uh, on where the Digital Twin strategy uh, is at and how it's progressing. The strategy is now live, it's a document, uh, it's a Google Doc, it sits within a folder uh, that we've been sharing, not only with our task force who have access to it, but uh, from our call of interest to government and also academia, we have an editorial and co-creation uh, committee of around about 40 people that represent all three tiers of government across Australia and New Zealand, uh, and also uh, a very healthy mix uh, of academic knowledge and research institutions uh, across, uh, across the region. Um, so continuing to invite those stakeholders to support our supply side task force in helping create the strategy. Um, I'm going to just quickly um, switch to uh, another document, um, the document that actually contains, um, contains the strategy. And what I'm gonna do there um, is uh, share with you a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of uh, a sneak peek on how the document is shaping up at the moment. Um, so the strategy really started sort of fleshing out uh, in in August, but when I say that, what I refer to is um, really developing uh, a structure, a bit of a straw man, uh, a table of contents, so to speak, uh, and we have that here with a uh, with an introduction. Uh, we've had a uh, an attempt at building a bit of a early vision and purpose and intended audience to at least give some context so that those that uh, come in and help co-create this document uh, have got a bit of a starting point. And also, of course, making sure that there's something there to review and comment on um, and, and challenge as well, ask strategic questions of what we've already put on paper. Currently, it's about a 23 page document. There's a lot of white space in there with headings and no content. Uh, but equally, there's a couple of areas that have been uh, advanced that we've been able to bring over from the digital twin guidance note as well. For example, some of those definitional aspects that we've been building out, um, as we mentioned, the why, um, the business case, the benefit realization of digital twin is an important one. Uh, we look at sort of the journey current state, interim state, target state, uh, our stakeholder ecosystem, governance and 
sponsorship, who's going to host, who should be the host of the digital twin um, sort of leadership across the region in our respective nations in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, use cases, which can be very powerful in helping us uh, articulate the value uh, of something such as the digital twin. Um, what we need to do on standardization, uh, capability development, uh, research and development, um, capacity building, and then a roadmap of actions and investments. This part here will be the core of the strategy. Um, where, where do we need to go immediately? Uh, what's new and then what's next? Policy interventions, requirements, uh, and other critical uh, items that we need to advance to help build a thriving marketplace, which is sort of our vision for Digital Twin. Uh, and also, what are the communications on this? How do we articulate that, uh, to articulate this strategy and what we want to achieve uh, with, our, uh, with our various stakeholders? So as you can see here, um, you know, we, we've started to, to build out the document. Um, we've certainly um, placed in here uh, a number of uh, outputs that the Digital Twin Task Force at the Smart Cities Council uh, has created over the past three to four months. Um, we've asked ourselves a number of questions. We're very transparent. We're putting all of our output, uh, our discovery boards are, are pasted into the document so um, our stakeholders and collaborators can review, challenge and question. Um, and, so, uh, and so with that, hopefully um, co-create and build out this document over time. Um, just uh, just quickly, if I go back to um, uh, if I go back to our presentation uh, here, so I can um, just share with you what's next and how we're going to approach this. Um, we're seeking involvement uh, and support um, in a couple of different ways. Um, we have those that may wish to roll their sleeves up and get very active in helping co-create and shape this doc document. Uh, and drafting uh, components of it with their peers. The second one there is um, folks that may not have a lot of time, but have some good information, uh, some research, maybe some other documents that they're willing to share, some insights that they're willing to share to give to the, uh, the drafting committee uh, to consider as it's built out. And lastly, those that have got very little time that can't really help day to day, uh, but are certainly willing to see a draft uh, or a progress draft um, to sort of sit back and review and digest something that's a little bit more uh, fuller or fleshed out or, or drafted. Um, so depending on sort of the time availability, we want to respect everyone's time, but equally uh, really love to hear from those that are uh, uh, able to sort of, and interested in, in adding some significant value. We certainly want to make sure that we, uh, we connect with you. How this is going to play out in terms of program? Well, what we're thinking is uh, we have Smart City uh, Digital Twin Week as a milestone in about a month's time. Um, so we're going to do a, a week on week off set of sprints as we lead up to Digital Twin Week. The uh, the drafting committee will have it for a week. Um, I'll then uh, take it take it over and the Smart Cities Council will consolidate um, and collapse items, uh, make adjustments back to the drafting committee so we'll go week on week off we'll pause we'll reflect at digital twin week um, in, in in late October uh, we'll go again uh, October November and hopefully ideally get to sort of December middle end of December uh, clearly identifying uh, what we've got uh, where are the gaps and that'll allow us to set a bit of a work program moving into 2021 I think um, uh, loosely uh, in a loose sense, I think what we're looking at is uh, hopefully sort of something that resembles a good solid draft across all of the chapters of the strategy um, in place for our review committee uh, to take a look at um, somewhere in the first uh, half of calendar 2021, probably more so there sort of at April, May, June time. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how many collaborators we're able to bring on board. Uh, for those that are interested in taking part of this process, um, we are, as we speak at the moment, and the date is 22nd of September at the recording of this video, uh, we're circulating a link to the Google Doc. Uh, it's open, it's not locked down, there's no password. Um, this is a, a, an open source um, process. We're certainly ready to share that link. Um, 
for the first month at least, we're asking people to read what we've got, review, ask strategic questions, do some ideas storming, uh, identify what exists. We don't want to duplicate or replicate any good work uh, that has already happened. That is, um, uh, that would just be negligent of us. So it's important very early on to try and identify what work has already been done in this space, uh, existing things that we can learn from, steal with permission even, uh, and make sure that we set ourselves up for doing work uh, and only work that's needed and value add as opposed to replicating anything that already exists. Um, so that's how, um, that's how the program's gonna play out. Just a final, uh, a final sort of item to address and a question that may be uh, on, on people's minds is why is the Smart Cities Council doing this? Uh, who are we to do this? Why uh, might this be um, something that um, uh, we found of interest? Well, the first thing is the digital twin, we believe, is probably the most powerful data platform that exists. Uh, and we believe that we need to make sure that we have a, uh, a marketplace uh, that can uh, accelerate uh, the adoption, the creation of data insights to make better decisions, to build transparency. For us, this is more of a transparency and trust agenda as it is a, a physical or natural environment agenda as well. Uh, it's very, very powerful, the digital twin, and we want to see it thrive, um, which means we need not only uh, a, a, a supply side that is primed and prepared and skilled and ready to go and can deliver the solutions, but we also need the demand. Uh, without both of those, uh, we, we don't really transform or change uh, anything or have any impact. So we're very, very keen at the Smart Cities Council to make sure that we can participate and help where we can in, uh, in shaping a marketplace for the digital twin. Um, when we started this work in March last year, there was no one that we could find, no entity or organisation or platform that was taking a lead at a regional level or indeed a national level for Australia or New Zealand uh, that resembled something of creating a national strategy or plan, um, vision, targets around the digital twin. Certainly at um, strategic, specific levels, either at a project level uh, maybe at a sector level, uh, we have state and territory governments uh, and municipalities doing certain things, but no overarching guide or plan. And we believe that we need that. So the Smart Cities Council is merely shepherding this project, championing this project, potentially until we find a better host. Uh, and we are certainly willing to engage and discuss with any organisation that feels that they can certainly pick up what we're creating here and take it forward in a more impactful way and if so we'll certainly be their biggest cheerleader in doing so. Um, so we're merely just a temporary custodian uh, of the creation of this document. We look forward to hopefully handing it over to a host, a sponsor, some, some uh, level of governance at some point that can really help drive it forward. So I hope that's been informative. I hope you've got a sense of um, what, uh, what we're trying to achieve uh, and what's coming up and we'd certainly love to um, hear from you if you're interested in um, participating. Uh, please reach out to us. You can send us an email, digitaltwins at anz.smartcitiescouncil.com. We look forward to engaging with you very soon. Um, thanks so much for listening.